BeautyCon experience slash uh, BeautyCon haul. It's gonna be quite a long one because we actually got a lot of stuff this time. Like, it's ridiculous how much stuff we got. Um, well, at least to me, I, it's a lot of stuff. So, we got a lot of stuff this time around. And let me just tell you my overall experience. I am very happy and very pleased this year because this year was 10 times better, even 100 times better than last year's. Last year, I believe there was only like 5 vendors, 5 plus vendors or something like that. This year, there was 30. Uh, plus vendors or 30 vendors. I don't remember how much um, there was a map that they gave you when you entered into BeautyCon So let me just start off saying um, We got to BeautyCon um, I was invited to BeautyCon along with my bestie. We were invited by one of the girls from BeautyCon and we got invited to a pre BeautyCon pre-party uh, a day before BeautyCon, so that was freaking awesome. I wasn't expecting to get invited to a party, but it was so much fun. We got to meet some awesome YouTubers at that party. Uh, it was a little short, little like a little party, and it um, had food, and it had little giveaway bags, uh, which is this one right here, Kiehl's, and this other brand. I don't know how to say their brand, but this other brand was there. They were giving away little goodie bags. Um, that was awesome, they had a DJ, and yeah, I got to meet some people that I've been wanting to meet since like forever ago. So yeah, I met some awesome YouTubers at that party that I've been like watching since forever, and yeah, we got to talk to a lot of people. Uh, we got to, me and my bestie that is, we went to the party together, yeah. So yeah, the pre-party was at House of Blues, it was freaking awesome, I've never been to the House of Blues, so this was like a first time experience for everything, kinda, kinda, kinda. So we got to the party. And you know we had to check in with our names before that it was like this little um, like a photo session thing where you can like take your photo um, little, like a background thing right there yeah we got there we had our names checked and we got in um, they gave us a little wristband if we were drinking if you were the drinking age we, should, we didn't even drink uh, but yeah so we got in there we saw immediately that there was a Kiehl's goodie bag and we got that because we're not missing out on no Kiehl's I mean hello so we were like we're here to eat first and then mingle later so we went straight to the food there was like pizza like little flatbread pizzas and little sandwiches the little waiters were hanging, uh, giving them out, and uh, there was drinks and stuff like that. So after that, after we ate and all that, we uh, started seeing like people we wanted to meet. We were really nervous to say, like, uh, well, I was really nervous. I think my bestie was too, but. I was really nervous to go up to people and like, you know, because they're kind of like the little groups in, in this party. They were kind of the little groups and I don't know, it was just me. I'm, I guess I'm just a nice person. I don't want to interrupt. So yeah, we sat and then we had uh, Janine, uh, Janine Amapola, I think her name is, ooh, Janine. We had her sitting right in front of us and we're like, oh my gosh, she's sitting right in front of us. What do we do? So we didn't say anything to her. We got up and then we went to the photo booth and there we took our pictures in the photo booth. At this party, there was a photo booth and we took our pictures, which they're right here. So cute. We went two times and the second time we went to the booth, photo booth, we actually saw Gabby and we got a little chit chat with her. Um, she was telling us that her and her sister Nikki are moving to uh, Cali and all that jazz. So we had a little chat with her. It was, she was really nice. At this party, I met so many people. I actually met Ash and Lupe Cue uh, Cuevas. Um, they're two fashion bloggers here from Dallas. So I met them both, took a picture and yeah, that was freaking awesome. Um, I met uh, Batty. Um, she was there. She, I took a picture. If you saw my um, Instagram, I, had, I don't think I've posted all the pictures. I met Bunny at this party as well. I met her. Like we we talked to her before we entered into the party. Um, what you call it, the party room and whatever. We met her outside. Uh, we took a we got a hug and everything. We didn't get a picture with her then, but we got a picture when we got inside the uh, party. Um, yeah, I met Bunny. Uh, who else did we meet? Um, uh, Janine. We finally got a picture with Janine. I'm um, like almost when the party was over. We finally got the courage to go up to her, and yeah, we took a picture with her. We met Remy. Love Remy. She was so nice to talk to. We had a little conversation with her. She was so nice. Um, and she took me and my besties like YouTube name, and she said she was she and her friend were going to. Um, watch our videos which that's freaking awesome and who else did we meet at that party we saw a whole bunch of people i saw tila i saw nikki and gabby which we got to talk with gabby um 
supposed to receive. I saw a whole bunch of like YouTubers that I could have got a picture with, but I didn't because you know I'm scared. So yeah, I saw I saw a whole bunch of YouTubers at that party. It was freaking awesome. Got some goodie bags, and this is what I got from that party. So we got some Kiehl's, and we got this other brand that I said I don't know how to pronounce their name. So in this little baggie, we got um, two things. My bestie got something different, so I'm guessing each bag was different. I don't know. So we got an EOS lip balm, which has the logo of the company on it. I don't know if it's going to focus on there. But it says the logo of the company, and it says BeautyCon Dallas on the bottom. I don't know if you can read that, but if you can't, it says that on there. And then I got an Essence uh, Beauty Trio thingy. Uh, but yeah, I got this. And then my bestie got a mascara from Essence as well. That's the things that were in that little goodie bag. And then in the Kiehl's a goodie bag. Um, this, like, I saved this because this one had the cotton candy on it. It was like a stick of cotton candy. It was really cool and it tasted really good. So, save the straw. I don't know why, but I saved the straw. Um, and these are all the things that came in the goodie bag. All full-size products. Um, I believe there's only one in here that's like a sample size product. So, all Kiehl's products. So, we got in the bag a Kiehl's Creamy Eye Treatment. Read that's too bright. Got a Kiehl's Ultra Facial bleh, Ultra Facial Cream, which looks like this. We got an Ulta Ulta. We got a Ultra Facial Cream. I, we got a Kiehl's Lip Balm a number one, which looks like this. So we got this, which I already tried this, and um, so far I'm loving it. And then we got this um, Hydro Plumping Retexturizing Serum Concentrate which I have to read about this because I don't know how to use it yet, but we got this as well. And then we got a Kiehl's Nightly Refining Micro Peel Concentrate. So it comes like in this little sample size thingy and the product is in here. So yeah, I can't wait to try this out. And then we just got a whole bunch of like um, little pamphlet thingies, which some of them are from BeautyCon, but I just stuck them all in here. So yeah, we got some little... Um, Pamphlets. I believe this is the one that came in the box, uh, that came in the bag. It says, you're invited to join us at the Neighborhood Kiehl's store for a complimentary personalized skin, uh, skin care consultation and samples. So it gives you locations that I can go to and get a consultation and free samples. So it has some, like, it has two locations in Dallas. So I might go. I don't know. So that's pretty much what's, what was in this little goodie bag right here. Totally saved in this bag because it sells Kiehl's. Yeah, so I, I've never tried any Kiehl's products before, which I'm excited to try some now. And maybe I'll get addicted, I don't know. So, that's pretty much all the things we got at the BeautyCon pre-party, um, which, it, it was a nice experience that we've never been invited to a like YouTube BeautyCon party pre-party, so that was freaking awesome to get invited to that and meet your YouTuber before the BeautyCon event, which was really awesome because at the BeautyCon event, we didn't really see or get a chance to meet that many famous YouTubers, so yeah. So Saturday came along, you know, cause Friday and on Saturday. So Saturday was BeautyCon, um, we got there a little late. So in the email we got, we said, they said that we were able to go in at 11. We got there kinda late, which was because we were getting all glammed up and stuff, so understandable, but anyways, we got there a little late. Um, we got there around like 11.30 or something like that, so not that late. Um, so we got there and then uh, we headed our way to the um, event. Uh, at one entrance they had the uh, general admissions and all the other packages that were available for BeautyCon. And we went there asking because we had to look for the guest list and we didn't find the guest list so we asked and they told us to go to the other entrance. Um, at that entrance, they had like the social package, the holler package, and some other total package, I think it was there. Um, so yeah, we went there, and then it was kind of unorganized because they didn't know what the what we were supposed to get, like a pass, what, what pass we were supposed to get. So we got there, and they were kind of confused as to where what uh, we were supposed to get. So finally, we got our badges, and we got a friends and family badge, which is really cool. We got a badge. We didn't get a little wristband, so we got a little plastic... Um, badge right here so this will be really cute to like, keep as a mem memory thingy and put in your scrapbook which I don't have one so yeah we got a badge um and then they just let it let us in there the girl there was like yeah this certain person told us just to let friends and family just to go in so that was really cool we just got in um when we got in there it was we got there kind of late so 
uh, yeah, there was already a lot of people in there. The lines were already kind of long, but they were moving along. So the first line we went to directly was Tarte. Uh, because we knew we wanted to get some Tarte stuff and yeah this year for some reason I don't know why but last year items were cheaper uh, and this year they raised they raised the prices of you know the stuff that was discounted but nonetheless I got some products and they're in this Tarte bag right here it's kind of heavy because it has some other stuff in here so I purchased three items from the Tarte booth um, I bought myself and another one of the clay uh, clay paint liners. This is my favorite eyeliner for so so far. I know I should have got this at Ulta, but I didn't have time um, on Friday because I had to go to that pre-party and I just got off of work, so I had no time to go to Ulta to get it for ten dollars. It was twenty dollars at the uh, Beautycon, which I could have got to an Ulta, I know, but I got it at. Um, Beautycon, whatever, $20, paid it, it was, you know, an impulse buy, but I wanted it. And then I got the Tarte uh, Park Avenue Princess Bronzer. Now, I wanted to get this because I am hitting pen on my little sample size one, like, where is the bronzer? No more. So I got the Park Avenue Princess um, Bronzer, and this is Big Papa right here. Little itty baby right here. So I got the Park Avenue uh, Bronzer. So it just looks like this if you haven't seen it before. Bronzer, love this bronzer, my favorite bronzer at the moment. So I got this, I don't remember how much this was, um, I believe it was, no I'm, I'm not gonna lie, I don't remember how much it was. And then I got this bad boy right here, I got the Tarte, how do you call it, Tartlet um, in a Bloom, um, yeah, Amazonian clay palette. Look at that packaging, isn't that beautiful? Me and my bestie got the same palette, she wanted to get the palette, she knew she wanted to get the palette so I was like, I'm gonna get it too because I don't own a Tarte palette. And this is it right here in all its glory and if you open it, it has this, it looks like this inside. So beautiful, like I know I'm gonna use most of these, um, probably all of these um, eyeshadows in a day-to-day -day basis. So can't wait to get start playing, can't wait to start playing with this palette. So, so, so excited. And I believe this palette was $30. I think it was $30. Um, we were checking um, online at the prices to see if it was really worth it. So, yeah, it was worth it. I don't know. I got it. It was in the moment. Um, you know, it was tarts. I love Tarte. Oh, and we were when we were in that line, we got um, interviewed by QVC. Um, I don't know when the clip is gonna air or if they're if they're if they're even gonna use the clip. So, me and my bestie got interviewed by one of the reps for QVC. So, it might be on QVC channel. I don't know. So, yeah, we were interviewed and that was freaking awesome. So after we got out of the Tarte line, that was like it was it was. It was a little, it was a little long, but it was moving quite fast. Um, so yeah, after that we went to this little like uh, photo section that says Beauty Con Dallas, and it was like a photo opportunity, and you could take your picture. So we went there. There was a little line there. Uh, we went there, took our picture. Um, after that we went. Where did we go to? I think we just started roaming around and seeing what other brands we could hit up that didn't have a long line. I believe the second place we went to was the. Um, Beautycon uh, like uh, store area thingy because as one of the members as even though we got this pass we thought we were gonna get a bag but we didn't so we went and we purchased this so we went and we purchased the Beautycon tote bag and let me just tell you it was totally worth how much it was um, I mean in my opinion it was totally worth it um, it was $50 yes I know Beautycon took my money, but I don't mind. It's a really pretty um, everyday use tote bag. I'm like, seriously, you can use this for like the beach or whatever you want to use it. So it just says Beautycon on it. I'm kind of bummed that they didn't bring out another Beautycon tote bag like they did last year. You know, the Beautycon with the girl with the um, cowboy hat and it said Beautycon Dallas. Let me go get it so you guys can know. If you didn't go last year, this is what was given out last year. So last year, um, they were giving out, well, if you had the package deal or whatever, they give you this tote bag. Um, but this year they didn't have anything like this. I was really bummed that they didn't have anything like this with like the Beautycon and then Dallas on it. They didn't have anything like this, so I was really bummed. I thought they were going to bring out a new bag this year, but they didn't. So yeah, it's all good and whatever, but they brought out these little big tote bags this year. And yeah, it's filled with a lot of goodies. Some goodies we got from little boots, but other than that, most of the stuff is from what was in the bag. 
I got these three things in this little plastic uh, baggie here. I'm guessing so it wouldn't spill and whatnot. So I got the Garnier Skin Active Micellar Cleansing Water, um, the blue one, the what you call it, the waterproof mess, the waterproof one that take off your wa waterproof mascara and whatnot. So got one of these. I'm fully stocked on these for the entire year because you're gonna see why. And I already have one of these that I haven't used. Um, Prior to going to BeautyCon, I already owned one of these. So now I have another one. Uh, the next thing that was in the bag was this Shea Moisture Fruit Fruit Fusion Coconut Water Weightless Styling Mousse. This is awesome. I don't know. I mean, this is really intriguing. I love mousse to like scrunch up my hair and stuff like that. So yeah, I got this in the bag as well. And the last thing that was in this little plastic baggy thingy was the coconut uh, Shea Moisture Coconut Hibiscus Curl and Shine Shampoo. It's a little bottle like this so it looks like this I don't know if it's gonna focus but it looks like this can't wait to try that let me just smell it because I love coconut oh it's sealed up mmm it smells really really good I really really am excited to try this out if I can close it back up all right Next thing in the bag was this Wildflowers for Sensitive Skin Gentle Facial Cleansing Powder. Um, I've never heard of this brand before, but it kind of reminds me, like, the overall concept of this. It kind of reminds me of the Biore, like, the uh, Biore powder thingy cleanser that they got, that baking soda that they just brought out. So, um, kind of reminds me of that. I don't know if the same, it's the same concept, but... Reminds me of that. Next thing in the in the bag is the Garnier Fruity Style 48 Hour Ultra Strong Sheer Set Breathable Hold Hairspray. Whoa, that's a mouthful. So we got a full size hairspray her. Got that. And then the next thing in the box in the box in the bag is this uh, all natural cleansing co wash coconut shea. So it looks like this. This is pretty much what was weighing down the bag. Pretty much. This is really big. Um, I don't know what a co wash is. I don't know it's like a cleansing um, thingy I'm guessing so yeah got this and I can't wait to try this out I love coconut scented stuff at least next thing in the box man I keep saying box in the bag is the Benzac acne solution complete acne solution regimen so I've heard these are sold at Target and I've also heard these are sold at Dollar Tree so yeah um, got this little pack here always good for your um, acne prone skin and stuff like that to prevent acne so another thing in the bag was this not your mother's in the heat um, beat blow dry accelerator so I love not your mother's stuff they smell really really good so we got this and it looks like a little travel size item unless this is what it is I've never s so yeah we got this in the bag next thing uh, we got was this Garnier grow strong a mass fortifying fortifying treatment Got this in the bag as well, full size product. Um, next thing in here is Garnier Fruity Style uh, New Full Plush Root Amp Root Lifting Spray Mousse. Her, her. So got a lot of Garnier stuff. Next thing in here, which is freaking awesome, is the Tarte uh, Blush in Fearless. So the Tarte Amazonian Clay 12 Hour Blush. In Fearless, looks like this. I'm gonna take it out because that's how excited I am of this. Like, this is freaking awesome. This is what made me think the, the whole bag was worth it. Um, because I saw the head um, chart. Oh, I can't open it now. All right, so the blush looks like this. It's a really pretty baby pink blush. Looks like that. Can you zoom in? Hello. Yes. Okay. So it looks like this. So pretty. I mean, this is what really me. This is what made me think the whole bag was worth the fifty dollars. So that's why I got the bag, and I wanted the bag anyways. I was like, I need to do a haul video, so I got it for you guys. All right. So the next things in the in the bag was I got a little nail file um, that says um, this on there. So I got a little nail file, which last year we got a style haul nail file, which I still have somewhere in here. So last year we got a style haul nail file, so I still have that. Um, and then the next few items were the last few items in the bag besides getting a lot of like pamphlets and like little coupon code thingies for purchases and stuff. So I got a NYX, um, I believe this is an eyeliner, liquid eyeliner. It says Vivid Bloom uh, Liquid Eyeliner. Yeah, it's in the color Vivid Bloom. It just looks like that. I'm probably going to save this for when I do, if there is another NYX Face Awards. I'm going to use this to make some colorful stuff for my entry. So, yeah, and then the next thing I saw here in the bag is this 
Maybelline Vivid Matte Liquid. So yeah, it's right here. It's in this pretty brownish nude color. I've been wanting to try those out. Um, next thing in the bag was this Radio Disney Your Way little wristband thingy mover. So it looks like this is Radio Disney. They also had a photo booth at the event as well, which we actually took a picture. Hold on, let me find it. It's in this bag. Oh yeah, we took a picture at the photo booth. So it looks like this. Really cool, but they only allowed you to take one picture per, like if you were, like me and my bestie wanted to get one each, uh, but they only allowed you to print one out. So, but you can email it to yourself so you can print it out multiple times. And the last thing in the bag, which I'm really, really excited because I've been wanting to try some lipsticks from this brand out. It is Lime Crime Velveteen. Um, it looks like this. So we got a Lime Crime lip gloss thingy. What is this called? Liquid Matte Lipstick in the color Velvet, Pink Velvet. So it looks like this. It's a bright pink color, which is freaking amazing. I love it, and the packaging is amazing. I want to swatch it. Hold on. Oh, really bright. I love it. It's going to be my new fave. Yes. Yes. And it smells so good. It smells like cupcakes. It smells like cupcake batter. Delicious. And here's a map that was given out um, when you entered the BeautyCon event. This is what it looked like inside and all that. Yeah, I, we crossed out the places that... We already went to because we went to lunch and we got the map then because we didn't get one when we entered the event uh, but yeah this is what the schedule looked like um, for the event we didn't go to any of the panels because we had already met the people that we wanted to meet um, at that pre-party so we were all about we were all about getting the free stuff and going to like the boots and stuff so yeah we did that instead this year so yeah after we went to the beautycon little store thingy which i thought it was a food truck at first because it was in the shape of food truck and i was hungry and you can smell food but yeah anyways we went to the red can booth and they were braiding hair at that booth but they were also giving away this little baggie right here with um some awesome goodies in here which you get the pillow proof blow dry two-day extender a wind blowing wind blown uh, finishing hairspray and a pillow proof blow dry express primer so got all these in this little cute little baggie which at the end of the event let me just tell you like I did last year stay till the very end because they just give out products to everybody that crosses their like booth and like goes into their booth at the end of the night and at the end of the event and they just give away stuff so we went back to the Redkin booth when it was like almost time for closing time it was around like 5 40 5 30 around there and the event ended at 6 we got some more mm -hmm. the girl just gave out two two to each person so we got more Redkin stuff. Well, I've got more Redkin little baggies, which I wanted to do a giveaway But I'm not sure if they're gonna allow me to do a giveaway because of it's hairspray And I don't want to get in trouble at the post office, but if I find a way to give these away I will let you guys know so at the Shea Moisture uh, booth so at that booth There was also a place where you can get your picture take picture printed out if you hashtag a uh, picture with Shea does beauty con now, first time I went through I missed like I missed a letter I put she does beauty con and I was like why isn't it printing he's like you forgot the A in Shay. So, yeah, anyways, we got our picture printed. The guy printed out two of them, one for me and one for my bestie, which is really nice of him. And, yeah, we got our picture uh, developed. And it's a sticker as well. He's like, it's also a sticker. And I was like, that's even better. He's like, I know. So, yeah, at that booth, they were giving... Well, not giving. You had to purchase this tote bag. Um, you had a choice between three different girls. And at that booth, they were actually... In that moment, uh, uh, what you call it, screen printing these uh, tote bags, which was really cool. We got to see like the whole, like the whole thing that was going down. They like scrubbed the paint. Like each layer of ink was done in a separate layer. If you know what I mean. If you've done screen printing before or had a printmaking class, you know what how the process is. So yeah, I got this one. I got the girl with the brown hair and long. There was one with the curly hair, and there was another girl with black hair as well uh, but I got this one and at that booth you pay $15 for the bag and you got products inside the bag which we got some got these two products along with some sample size stuff got this big lotion thingy my bobber is it a lotion I don't even know is it no it's a it's a shampoo what okay so it's a fruit fruit fusion coconut water weightless cream rinse 
that's awesome it has no sulfates no parabens no blah 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 no anything no animal testing color safe so we got this i want to smell it oh it's good. it's sealed off anyways got this in the bag and then another thing we got in there which i didn't know that shea moisture had makeup so we got a little like um what do they call it like a little chubby stick kind of thingy in this color right here so that's really 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 pretty so we got this one right here the, the glare so we got a shea moisture little lipstick thingy and then along with that we had some more sample size products which we went like i'm telling you go at the end of the event and you get more free stuff so we went back and we got some more of these um the guy was like you can't just come back to this booth and not take some of the free stuff so got some more of these uh what are these called replenishing body lotion olive and green tea so we got these sample size uh, thingies and then um if you wanted to you didn't have to but you can wait in a separate line to get your uh tote bag um personalized so I got mine personalized with my name, so it looks like this. It says Gabby, and the girl like did it effortlessly. I recorded the whole thing, um, so yeah, it was really pretty how she did it, and I love it. So yeah, that was pretty much what was at the Shea Moisture booth. Love the totes, and yeah, it's so awesome that they personalized for you in that moment. So yeah, it was fifteen dollars for that tote to get it personalized, and you get some free stuff. So. Well, you pay for it, but anyways. So, after that, we went to see Maybelline. Um, Maybelline? I don't remember where we went. But after that, we went to eat, and they have food trucks outside. They had, a, like, three food trucks outside. Um, each one was, like, a different thing. They even had sushi this time and some Australian cuisine, and I don't remember what the other photo photo booth other oh, food truck was. And they had this, like, little Mexican uh, stand, which had, like, tacos and burritos and other jazz like stuff like that um and then they had a snack section inside of the like the convention center so we didn't go there because there was a line to get in there which we just waited the longest line we waited for was probably the food one and the calligraphy like personalized bag uh line like those are the two longest lines we stood in that day which was all gravy not as bad as last year so yeah um after we got our food um we went back in and made a like uh, we got the map this time and we were like uh, we could we had to hit up these boots so we went to the after we came back from lunch it started dying down like everybody leaves at around like lunch time so my guess is to go in later in the day if you're if you don't want to be stuck in long lines because at the very beginning of the event the lines are gonna be long stuff is falling from my desk so at the beginning of the event the lines are gonna be long so I'm guessing to go in after lunch time so because after we went to lunch we made a, like a game plan we took the map we got a map and then we made a game plan we're like okay we need to hit up these boots and these boots so after that the line to QVC wasn't long at all we got there straight away and they were practically just giving away stuff we didn't get to get I believe they were giving out like a box of sample stuff we didn't get to get one of those um, but that's all gravy I mean what ifs so but that at that booth um, we went in straight away and then there was a win um, section in that booth area and the girl was just you know was like she was like here 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 what there were these full-size win products um, full-size win winter cranberry mint and a full-size win spring gardenia green tea cleansing conditioner hello what she was just like you want these I'm, uh, yes <laughs> hello uh, when do i say no to free products and it came with a little pump too so that was freaking awesome and then like she told the girl behind us she's like you can come back later if we still have some more we'll just give it to you i'm like what we didn't we went back but the, the booth was already closed there was nothing left so we did go back and try to get some more but we had no luck on that after that, we went to, I believe we went roaming around to the Burt's Bees um, booth, and then I forgot what was the one that was like right in the corner, I forgot what that booth was called, but they weren't, I don't believe they were giving out any stuff, so we just skipped that, uh, and then we went to the NYX, um, either we went to the NYX or the Garnier booth next, I don't remember, it was just all a blur, um, so yeah, we went there next, um, one of those two, I'll, I'll talk about when we went to the next one, so when we were standing in the next line, the, there was a girl um, going through the line, she was like, if you tweet uh, that you're at the uh, next booth, we'll give you one of these products for free, so I did that, and um, I got to choose one of these, um, 
I got to choose one of these like little cowboy boot um, thingies with a little lip gloss inside of it. So I chose this one and it looks like this and it's just this pink one, pink color. And what is this? A full throttle lipstick. So it just looks like that. Hopefully I'll zoom in, but probably not. Yeah, so it looks like that. And it's really cute how they did it. They had little boots. And then when we got inside of the booth area, there was a photo section that they have ring lights in there, which I really want a ring light so bad. Anyways, we took a picture there. And then they had a vending machine, but I think it was, I think we went too late in the day that they weren't doing the little whole vending, uh, vending machine experience. They had taken all the products out and put them in like a train case. So when we're done taking a picture, we could choose whatever we want from that train case. And I chose this other color. It's a, uh, what is this? A full throttle shadow stick. And it's like in this purple, um, bluish color. I don't know. Periwinkle color if you want to get technical. So yeah, I got this color right here. Hold on, let me just see if it'll focus. So yeah, it's just this color right here. So I got these little boots. Texas, I guess. <laughs> so yeah. Got that at that booth, um, and then we went to, uh, th not after that, we went to the Garnier booth where we had to, either we waited, in, there was two lines, one where you spin this little thingy that you could win a Garnier micellar water right away, or you went to the other, li other line that was also a vending machine um, thingy, so we, each person had a different number, so we had to take a picture of the Garnier booth or the Garnier display that they had so if you saw my Instagram you knew I took a picture of that so yeah went there took a picture and then this girl was uh, I guess she was part of the PR people for Garnier she's like do you guys want to be on the Garnier Fruities snapchat and we're like heck yeah she's like all you have to do is wave and you know be excited oh so yeah we were featured on the Garnier snapchat which is like freaking awesome um so yeah after that um we got to the like a vending machine thing which each person had a different number which would uh, produce the vending machine to spit out uh, one of the products from the vending machine so I got another micellar water another waterproof one so I'm saying I'm telling you guys that's what I'm saying I am fully stocked on micellar water for life yeah so yeah that's pretty much all I got from Garnier um, and then I believe that's pretty much all I got so after that, we started just roaming around and taking pictures with like any place we could see that we could take pictures. Like there was some cactus balloons at the corner and where there was like a wig section that says big hair, don't care or something like that. Uh, but yeah, and then there was like, there's a whole bunch of places you could take pictures. There was like a, like, um, you know how you go to movie premieres or you see on Instagram that people go to movie premieres and there's like a background with like the labels of like the sponsors and stuff. There was a, there was a backdrop of that. Um, yeah, Bunny had like this big line that you can meet her. She had the longest line ever, like seriously, that was the longest, ever, longest line ever, but we didn't stand in that line because we had already met Bunny at the pre-party. So after that, we just started roaming around um, just to see what, what other stuff we could find or any people that we can see that we could possibly take a picture with. Um, but yeah, we started to go through the booth. Oh, we saw Fashion by Ali at this booth that was for an app which is freaking awesome like if you haven't heard of the fuse app i believe that's what it's called it's freaking awesome it has like you move your you tilt your phone back and forth and then it moves which is like freaking awesome like I, I cannot get enough of that app i'm on the app uh when i when she told us about it i downloaded the app right away and we met up with her we got a picture with her and that's pretty much the only person we took a picture with a uh, famous person we took a picture with that day um and then we had a group picture which um squad goals we have this picture right here see what i'm saying like the picture moves like it's freaking awesome like i don't know if you can see that hold on let's see if it focuses like it moves like what like with the motion of your phone it moves so yeah, anyways took a picture and with the whole group and that was freaking awesome uh but yeah other than that it was a really nice experience. I had a really, really fun experience. It was really, really fun. Um, way, way better than last year's. Um, yeah, there was a lot more stuff. It, there was music this time. Like, I noticed there was music. The lines weren't long at all. So yeah, after that, we hit up, like, we started seeing, you know, places that were just leaving their sample stuff left behind. And Not Your Mother's was, you know, putting out sample stuff. So I got a sample stuff from that booth. Um, yeah. So yeah, the only thing I, I did notice was is that they didn't have a Beautycon BFF lounge area like they did last year, which that was really awesome for the BFF, you know, members. 
but they didn't have that this year uh, but overall it was pretty nice I loved it I loved everything thank you so much to BeautyCon for inviting me my bestie and I to BeautyCon this year hopefully we'll get invited next year and yeah we had so much fun um, yeah that's pretty much it um, hope you guys had fun if you went to BeautyCon as much as I did um, yeah that's pretty much it hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys in my next video bye guys <laughs>